Welcome back, guys. And it's raining again. The television said it would. Let's check tomorrow's weather report. Clear and sunny all day. Okay. Fortune teller. They're annoyed. That's kind of unfortunate, but what can we do? Aha. Ooh, my bathroom's in the ground. Judgment. Remove the landslide. Yes. Aha. So now we can go to the mine. So I think we will do that today. Ooh. There's another one. I apologize for joking around Grandpa's old cottage and stuff, man. It's really nice. Uh, we might need some more space some days where I can help you if you bring in some more materials and pay if the actual change your farm house. The first expansion offers is include the kitchen, the kitchen, you be able to cook recipes and learn, or stay happy on how to start out. Thanks, Robin. You're making fun of my, uh, fun of my old Grandpa's farm. You know what? If you say you did and you're apologizing, that's okay with me. Alright, so, keep the gold level pass now. All but two regular parchments. Uh, grab the pickaxe and uh, we'll go this way. We'll head off up to the mine since the blockage is now cleared. I think when you go into the first room of the mine, you meet the adventurer guild guy. He gives you first sword, the crusty sword or something like that. I brought the parsnip two fold on one, I give them a gift if I find someone I need to gift to, or two, I can eat them to get their energy and health back if I get hurt down in your mind. Because if you lose all your energy, you pass out. If you lose all your health, you end up with the doctor. And he takes, randomly takes stuff from you. Like he's a bit of a thief, really. Honest to God. That's Marlon. It's big fish. Green hair is so extreme. Bearing down in the old mine shaft, ain't Marlon? Excellent, that sounds good. Banning for decades. Probably good ore down there. Dark place. Yes. Are you gonna give me a sword? Get on with it. Take this, you might need it. Da 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 da! It's dangerous to go alone. Take this! A rusty sword. What if I don't want to be a member, Marlon? Hmm? What if I don't want to be a member of your crew? You ever think of that? No. Because you only think of yourself, don't you? So for anybody that's watching this has never played Stardew Valley, basically, Harvest the Brock's mine, obviously. But some levels you have to actually find the ladder to get down to the next level, like so. In fact, in most levels it's hidden under something like that. Aha, some slimes. Let's get on with the slime. And I've been hit. As you might imagine, the rusty sword isn't particularly good at much of anything. But we're getting some slime, so that's good. Alright, let's break these bigger rocks. I'm getting quite a bit of stone out of the bigger rocks. Not the stones in my big rocks right now. Wood would be the biggest concern I've right now. So kind of a handy idea is to try and corner the slimes against the wall or something. Because then you knock back. It means that you don't have to chase them. Also sometimes on some levels, the, um, the, the ladder appears after you've killed the last enemy. So, if you don't bomb the rocks, chances are you need to kill something. Copper stone, excellent, let's go. Oh, one of these, I hate this. Amber. Monster meat means I can make bait later. Sorry, bug meat, not monster meat. Sorry, itchy nose. Red 
we're gonna also you wanna not be down here too late after dark. In the early days, being down here late after dark's not gonna be a problem. It's the you'll run out of energy long before it gets too late for you to be down here. So I say that I mean realistically if you pack enough if you pack enough uh, supplies you can probably stay down here for quite a while. See you, Mr. Slime. Don't you be hitting me more. That was really nasty. Okay. There's nothing up there I want, so we might as well just take this ladder down. We have reached level five. Now, every five levels, the elevator on so you can come, you can bypass the levels above, you can come straight down to the level you're on. Or this way. Die, Slime! Die! You didn't just get me, did you? There's a, there's a stairwell. And it doesn't look like... No, there is really nothing over there that I want to worry about in the dark. So... We'll go down to the next level. I think I will eat one of these parsnips. Get some energy and some health back. Hey, there we go. Not a lot, but, you know, every little bit helps. Keeps you alive. Yeah. Ooh, we've got a bit to go. Yeah, um, <laughs> they only appear if you step on their sand. And they take a few hits to kill. Hey, quartz. Oh, um. <laughs> I'm gonna. No, 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 no. Don't eat the sap. Don't eat the sap. Let's throw the sap away. Let's pick up the quartz. There we go. And I might eat that. Just spare up. To free up an inventory slot. Also, from what I've read on the wiki about slimes, just, you know, as you do when you're reading for trolls and something to do, um, the slimes, the ones that have the lobby on their head, those are the males. Oh, no, no, don't you dare. Oh, okay, we, uh, we need to get out. It doesn't matter what's down here now, we need to get out. So we're going to go and leave the mine because we are hurting. However, we got some we got some copper ore first, could we can look at building a furnace and uh that's helping some uh, some copper. You're bad. There's a bit of energy to go, that's alright. I don't think there's a penalty for going to bed with low energy. I certainly hope there isn't. Let's have a look first. No, right, we can't build a furnace yet. We need to have our mining ability level up first. Uh, I might actually need to the algae. Just give it a little bit of health back. Okay, not much. And there we go, put those away. And uh, 
go to town and get some more seeds you can plant here. Or some more baskets probably because they, they grow quite quick, they're quite cheap. Do that. Because there's only early, too early to go to bed. Too early. And we also might pop down to the beach and have a have a cabin. Drop on the mission for Bring me a Joja Cola. How about no? Joja's evil. Oh, it's five o'clock. You guys are leaving. That was unfortunate. Man. That was a really bad time. Well, I guess we're not planting any more seeds today because we missed the store. Whatever. So, is there any, anything down here to forage? There is probably absolutely nothing to forage. There we go. There is absolutely nothing to forage. A little bit of time. Well, okay. We'll head back to the farm, I think we'll chop down one tree, get ourselves a little bit more wood towards fixing that bridge, and then we will call it an episode, as well as a day. <laughs> Sound like you're wearing hobnail boots, bro. Take a bunch of these wild seeds. I've got seven. Let's let's plant the wild seeds. There we go. We've planted funny eye shape. Excellent. Ooh, there's a seed. Another tree seed. Okay. Alright, throw the dandies on and We'll call it a day and an episode, guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this episode, smash that like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at Ellie's Mark, and we'll see you next time. Bye -bye.